Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I'm Amy and I post new videos every week. Today's video is going to be the last video in my Vlogmas videos for 2021. It is going to be my year-end favorites. This is the best of the best, what do they call it? The cream of the crop, the tip of the top, the best products that I use this year. This includes makeup, a little bit of skincare, a little bit of hair care, um, a little bit of clothing. I've got some shows I wanna share with you, things like that. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and like this video so I know you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. I'm gonna start with the makeup. Um, just because I feel like majority of people will be here for the makeup and then we'll go skincare, hair care, etc. Okay, I'm gonna start with lips. So I have got, mm, I've got a few lip products because there's so many like different kinds of lip products, right? I have the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude in um, Amarosa. Okay, that is the main color of what I've got on my lips today and I think it is a beautiful nude that's a very like creamy matte and it smells delicious let me show you it here if you want to see like swatches or me trying it on and all of that i did review this in my natasha denona love like i got this when i got the mini love so check that out because it's part of that like collection I love that lipstick. It's one of my high-end ones that I go to when I don't know what to do because I feel like it is a very like in-between color. Like you could use it with warm tones, you could use it with cool tones, and it's a really good shade for my skin tone. Like a lot of times nudes like are completely concealer lips on me or they go like way too deep even though they're supposed to be very pale people nudes this one is a really good pale person nude and the second lipstick the last lipstick i only have two the second lipstick that i have in here as a favorite is very similar in like the depth range like it's the correct level of depth for my skin tone but this one is a little bit more pink and the formula is different this is the huda beauty uh what do they call these cream lipstick in angel and this one is like, this formula, you guys, is amazing. It's super juicy. I'm gonna just throw it up on, uh, on top. I don't have a mirror in front of me, so bear with me. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But it's a little bit more uh, pinky of a color, and it is a very thin formula that feels almost like a balm, but it has pigment to it. So I really love this formula, like if there's any color, in this formula i would suggest it this one is just like a perfect nude and the formula is really good if that makes sense speaking of balmy type things i tried out m cosmetics for the first time this year and the lip cushions are amazing out of this world 10 out of 10 highly recommend these are like i could not recommend these enough i understand not wanting to pay what it, i don't know how much it is um, pay a lot for this one because it's like a balm but it is one that you are going to want to put on your lips every day this one's the clear by the way you are gonna want to put this on your lips and reapply it and reapply it and reapply it it's super nourishing and comforting and it looks beautiful and super juicy on the lips I love these I also have the color Venetian Rose which I also love it is a good like it's a little bit deeper of a color for my skin tone, so at first I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but just the formula, and you can sheer it out if you want to, just tab a little on and then use your finger. And it's a it's a beautiful color, but the formula on these also is super beautiful. I highly recommend if there's a color that you are interested in that you try it out. And then I have two glosses, which are on completely different, <laughs> sides of the road so i have one of the most expensive glosses ever the pat mcgrath lip gloss this is the shade prima donna prima donna is probably my favorite because it's kind of like a nudie pink which if you haven't caught on by now that's that's my vibe um but it is like her glosses are so 
they smell so delicious too they're so i don't know if i can do this i wish i had a mirror in front of me i don't know what i was thinking ready okay yeah I mean, I'm already had a juicy lip on. Anyway, but I love the texture and the formula of these. I do also love the Tower 28 lip gloss. Still completely love that one. So if you want something more affordable that's similar to this, I would go that route. But the Tower 28 ones, I don't think have shimmer in them. Whereas these ones definitely do, or at least the shades that I do. I have, and they're this super juicy formula. The Tower 28 ones are much more of a jelly. Like they create like a cub like a gel capsule around your lips whereas this has a little bit more of like a an oiliness to it it's a little bit thinner in that way but it's so good and so juicy and delicious and wonderful and beautiful and i love these okay but if you really just want something that's a juicy juicy pouty wet lip but you don't want to pay a lot of money and you don't really need the colors the essence shine 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 lip gloss the clear one it has been like raved about on the internet for years and i've always been like but it you know it's a i think this sometimes and i know it's a horrible thought but i think like it's affordable and i have high-end things that i love i highly doubt that i'm gonna love the affordable one as much like i have that mindset sometimes but really this is amazing like i would pay probably twenty dollars for this i'm not i'm not lying like it's I, I you know me like i spend money spend it but it's got this really really juicy finish i don't i don't know if i can layer something else on my lips right now but oh my god i cannot see from this far away do you see that i'm looking like a glazed donut Ugh. Literally, did I just have, did I just have lip injections? Because I swear to you, my top lip has never looked bigger in my entire life. So juicy, very comfortable. It's not sticky. It, do, it doesn't gloop or anything like that. Really love it. Easy, affordable. Get your hands on this. Now I'm going to skip over the rest of the face and go to the eyebrows. This is one product I've got here. Only one product. I'm sure you're not familiar because I don't have that many subscribers. But if you are, hi. Thank you so much for staying. It means a lot to me. Um, but um, I didn't even do my brows like when I first started my YouTube channel, which was, I don't know, like a year and a half ago. And... I didn't even put anything on my brows. And then sometimes I would put a brow pencil on my brows and I've slowly started growing into having like a brow routine. And this was the year for me where I was like, I'm gonna try every brow product <laughs> that ever existed on the planet of the earth. I tried so many different product products. Um, once I have like my final opinions on things and like have a clear view of what does what and how long things last I will probably make a video because I've tried ink stains from the drugstore ink stains from high-end I've tried brow waxes the kind that are like in a pot I've tried many different brow like gels and things like that but above all else this is the one that has <laughs> if you just saw it this is the one that has stayed fully in my routine like I can't do my brows without it if I do do my brows without it like I want it it makes it so easy to do my brows it's so good it's so worth the money M Cosmetics brow cream I use blonde even though I have relatively dark hair in the scheme of things but because I am like a brow baby <laughs> I'm not prepared to go with like a brown brow like that would be too much for me so today i have the elf ultra precise brow pencil really easy affordable good brow pencil and then i just have this guy you know to just do all the rest of the work it grabs onto all kinds of hairs it makes it look a little bit more pc i don't know i just think it's so good it's so easy the the, the wand to it is so minuscule i love this i feel like this is one of the most user-friendly brow products that i've used this year also so highly recommend highly recommend i brought out only three foundations i've tried a lot of foundations this year like over 20 foundations this year so if you want to see the full ranking video i am going to link it right here for you i have rating like the best of the best good foundations terrible don't try it 
all the way, you know, the whole thing. Um, but spoiler alert, these are the top three. So these foundations are the top three because they are best in the category, if that makes sense. So for me, the very best sheer coverage, glowy, dewy, hydrated skin tint formula that I tried this year was the Milani Glow Skin Tint, right? Hydrating Skin Tint, yeah, that's what they call it. I have the shade 110 Fair uh, to Light. This has a pretty abysmal shade range. I think they did end up expanding it in the middle of the year, but I love this so much. This is kind of like, um, you know how some people would put like a, like a highlighter on their face and then like that'll be like their base for the day like they're no makeup no makeup they'll just put like on a dewy prep skin prep tiny thing this is kind of what that does that is kind of what this does for me it is very sheer very sheer this was actually the first video that i posted in the beginning of the year and it has still stayed a very top favorite for me so if you want to see that go ahead and head all the way to the first video of 2021 um, it is so beautiful. It covers up just enough redness to even out my skin tone and has this beautiful glow. It makes me look so healthy. I love it so much. This is my number one favorite sheer glowy skin tint. Love. All right. The second one is also a skin tint, but I'm going to call it tinted moisturizer. This one has more coverage. It's not as dewy. It's a little bit more of a skin finish. It's what I'm wearing today. It's got what I would call like a medium coverage. And that is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic blah, 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 tinted moisturizer. <laughs> so this did not come out this year, but I tried it this year for the first time. Now, instead of picking up the tinted moisturizer when they originally came out, I got the foundation. Love the foundation. It is beautiful as well, if you were interested. I love that foundation. I do have video up using that as well. Um, I might have videos up using this. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but because it wasn't new, I didn't really like do a full video on it. Let me know if you want me to, because I love this. I love the texture, the feel. It feels yummy on my skin. It it feels comforting on my skin. It lasts really well on my skin. And I think it looks so lovely. I feel like it gives me such like a creamy plump kind of finish to my skin, which I really, really love. And it's so affordable. I love the packaging, really easy to use, throw on, love. You're a winner, babe, you're a winner. Um, I have the shade 4N. It is a little bit dark for me, but I'm wearing a turtleneck. And then what I would call like top of the top of the top of the top foundations. This is a foundation. You could, it's medium to full coverage. For me, it's still got, it's a dewy glowy finish, but it's coverage, baby. This is like, I don't know. If I was being interviewed by Oprah, this is the foundation I would wear. I'm never going to be interviewed by Oprah, but that's what I'm trying to put you in my headspace. Okay. The Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. I have not tried the first iteration of this foundation, but the Radiant Lifting, oh my God. I do have a three-day foundation wear test on this video, or on this foundation as well. And I loved it like as soon as I put it on. I've been absolutely in love with this. It has come all the way to the top of my foundations, not just foundations for 2021, but foundations ever. I absolutely love this foundation. The shade 140P is a pretty good color for me. It is probably one of my more fair shades. So if you are like me, but like alive and not dead, you might be a little bit like a couple steps up. Um, but I, uh, it's beautiful. It's perfect. It's amazing. I love it. I love you. I love you. I love you. It's so good. If you wanted to try a high-end foundation, if you really wanted to splurge, but get your money's worth because you do not need a lot of this. I've actually recently been seeing Alana Davison talk about this foundation and she only uses like half a pump for her whole face. So that's, I mean, you know, it's gonna go a long way. Love this foundation. This next category is concealer. I do not try new concealers often yet because I have so many, so many 
like way too many. I probably have way too many foundations too, but I have so many concealers in my collection that I don't even know how I feel about them, which my foundations, I have a very clear idea about how I feel about almost every single one of them. Like I know how I feel about them and where they go in, in the order, right? And what they look like. I, I can recall memories. Concealer is just so much harder to do that unless it is like an epic fail or really amazing. You know, it's so much harder to just notice because like foundation takes up so much more of my face. <laughs> so it's a lot easier to at the end of the night be like, wow, my foundation looks great. Then be like, hold on, let me see my under eye. Like, you know, it's a whole ordeal. So I need to do that. That's gonna be in part of my 2022 goals is like, get my concealers under wraps. Like I need to know what I'm thinking about them. But I did try some new ones. This is not every concealer I tried this year. These are just the best of the best. And again, these do have just like my foundations, differences to them, depending on your wants and your needs for your concealer. So first of all, let's go with the one that I'm wearing today. And that is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion ultra long wear concealer. Now this is the shade 1C. I didn't look up her shade range, so I don't remember if they're like right before this. So I don't know if there are lighter shades. This shade is a little bit dark, but because I'm wearing this, which is a little bit dark, it works out fine for me. Um, it is a little bit um, kind of peachy, which actually helps cancel out and even my under eyes a lot. So to me, this is like a probably medium coverage it is hydrating it's very thin formula so don't think nars creamy concealer because that is like creamy but it's a like thicker creamy right like this and sharp sharp shape tape tart shape tape is thick and creamy but dries down like very quickly i can't even think of something like think the texture is more like Maybelline Fit Me. Like where it's that thin, really hydrating formula, but this has more coverage than that. So that's what I really love about it. It's very nice to my under eyes. When you have dry skin, it's, it's like so many things are irritating almost because they just suck the life out of your skin and your skin is like begging for more moisture, you know? And this one really looks I think beautiful under my eyes and I have really watery eyes and this one lasts pretty well through that which is very hard for a lot of concealers to do um, but I really like this one let's let's take out the fullest coverage one that I would recommend and that is the Tarte Shape Tape ultra creamy if you have dry skin and you love Tarte Shape Tape okay I understand because the coverage is there the coverage is really there for Tarte Shape Tape, right? This does not have as much coverage, but it is so much better on dry skin. Like it is so much better that it's really worth it. It does still have really high coverage. I have a video on my channel where I'm sitting in direct sunlight using the creamy one and the regular one, like one on each side, so you can really see the difference. The creamy one just wins 10 out of 10. It is a beautiful formula. I probably would never buy the full size just because I have so many concealers in my collection that I don't need that. And I'm not a full coverage girl most of the time, right? Like I'm like sheer to medium is my home. Sometimes we visit full coverage area, right? But these are beautiful. They're beautiful on their own, like just doing little spots around your face and like kind of blending it out so it shears it out. It's very creamy. It is very, it's ultra creamy and it's delicious and my dry skin loves it and I highly recommend it. If you are a tart shape tape stan, <laughs> but you have dry skin and you're really just looking for a little bit more hydration, this and don't tell me none of that elf concealer stuff because i hate both of the elf concealers they are not good i'm sorry sorry and then the sheerest coverage concealer and i am shocked for this to be here don't know why because katie jane hughes loves it so why wouldn't i love it and that is the glossier stretch concealer this one has been loved and raved about for years as well but i never tried glossier until this year and this is one of the standout products for me definitely hands down i use it 
it's really fuzzy but i use it a lot i use it with my sponge and i use it on days when i'm not wearing any makeup just cover up the redness cover up the under eyes cover up some veining in my eyelids good to go situation it's so good because uh this is g11 it won the color and like texture and sheerness makes it blend into your skin so seamlessly but it actually does have more coverage than i expected i would call this a light coverage concealer but it does have like it covers enough for me to feel comfortable like i could wear it with a full face of makeup you know but it is much more suited for an everyday situation so if you don't wear a lot of makeup and you just want something to kind of dampen the imperfections in your face but not really cover them and you don't want to go foundation i keep pulling it up because you know i'm gonna say this is your concealer right here this one next in my routine would be powders now if you know me you know i have dry skin which i have just mentioned 872 times in the last 10 minutes so powders are not my thing right like i actually do like powdering my face because i used to have oily skin so i do still have that like inclination to dislike when my face is like sticky or like i could feel foundation and product on it you know so powder is important to me in that manner to just stop the sticky feeling and i have a cat so i gotta stop the hairs from sticking to my face um but it's also very hard because a lot of times powders dry out your skin or they make your skin look powdery and cakey or they have too much coverage to them or if you're really fair like me they darken when they hit your skin you know like they are just too dark or they're too yellow or whatever right or even sometimes they're too white and then you just look bananas okay so my number one favorite is the charlotte tilbury guys this has been my under eye and face powder all year this little mini here i'm not going to show it to you if you want to see what it looks like in here go to my project pan i did already go and pick up the full size because that is how much i love this i have the shade one fair i am the fairest and this is what i've got on my under eyes today and it's really good it doesn't like mattify your skin and make your skin look powdery or whatever but it does like dampen the shine if that makes sense so sometimes when i'm filming like if i film multiple videos it'll get like shiny up in here and i just like tap a little extra right there and then we're good to go love this powder hate its price but i love it don't buy a full price i'm sure there are sales around or like codes that you can get you know she's expensive these two bronzery contoury things i'm that's one category to me like i don't know what to tell you these really stole my heart this year these ones were like every time i would get something new in my collection and i'd be like okay we need to like keep using these other things and test them out i was like but i really want to use these or i would find a way to like layer them and use them together because i love these products and they're the kind of products that make me want to put makeup on like Ooh, yeah i want to use that again kind of thing the danessa myricks let me open this balm contour this is a i did like a um declutter recently for my bronzers where you can see me swatch all of my bronzers side by side and you can see all the the nuance and the differences there this one is a little bit of like a baby poo kind of color it's got like this greenish olive undertone to it and i really love it it really does help to like shade my face and it blends so lovely oh my gosh this balm formula is so good the packaging super luxe okay it's not super luxe it's super nice like it's not weighted or anything like that but it is very nice like clip closure and then you push this little button it pops up really cute really nice love this and i love using it and then the second one is going to be my makeup by mario contour what do they call it? Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. You gotta get the shade light medium. I keep seeing fair people get the shade light and it is like orange and it's just too orange. The, the, the formula, delicious, wonderful. If you want a bronzy look, okay, go for the shade light, but the shade light medium is where it's at. 
okay? It is this lovely neutral leaning cool tone bronzer shade. It's what I'm wearing today. I only have a little bit on because it's winter, you know, I'm fair, I'm trying to look fair. Um, but it is just so beautiful. I love just taking, I do not use the brush on the end, I'm so sorry. Um, but I love just taking my, gosh, what are those brushes called? The e.l.f. 105. Just boop, 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 boop. Beautiful, love it, 100%, amazing. And it's so much product. This one is like higher end, but this is so much product that this one is much more worth your money than like a lot of high end bronzers. And I love it, love it. So for highlight, we've gotta talk about Auric Glow Lust. This stuff is beautiful. Yes, I have a discontinued shade. This is the Morganite, the original Morganite, but it doesn't matter. I even love this all over my face. It is like a little bit too glowy, so I would put this all over my face. Maybe do like a more matte concealer in spots to even it out, and then just like, boom, the most fresh, beautiful face. This stuff is gorgeous, and what I really, truly love about it is you're getting enough for your money. Yes, it's expensive, but this is going to last you a lifetime, okay? I mean, a while, right? I don't know, I don't know the, I don't know the shelf life, but it's gonna last you a while, right? So you're getting your money's worth and you can use it in so many different ways and there are skin care benefits to this. It has squal, I think squalane oil, right? I don't have the actual box, but I think it has squalane. I don't know if it's oil. Anyways, it has skincare benefits to it my dry skin loves it. It is not just a metallic on my skin like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for Superstar Youth Glow. That stuff is way more metallic, whereas this is much more like plumping, hydrating, dewy, glowy, right? Beautiful, delicious. I'm sure this is going to be in a lot of people's yearly favorites for good reason. Now, if you do not use a product like this, if you don't have a spot for a product like this in your routine, if you do not love Samantha Ravindahl, this is probably not gonna be your cup of tea. You're gonna be like, hey, I just spent a lot of money on this thing that I never reached for, okay? I'm, I'm letting you know the real, the real, real, right? But if you love something that juices up your skin, if you love a liquid highlighter, if you love something like if this answers your prayers you will not be disappointed when you get it you know what i mean you're gonna be like oh that answered my prayers whereas if it's something that like is completely foreign object to your collection you're gonna see it as a, as a ufo you know you know well it's not it's not flying mm. anyways now another one and this is the kind of product where Every time I did my makeup, I just kind of wanted to use this, and I did use it today as well, is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Glow Stick. First of all, if you don't like scented makeup, you're not gonna like this, because this smells like juicy fruit, watermelon, I don't know. It smells like candy, okay? Might be a negative for some of you. I love it, I think it smells so good. And it is so beautiful. It is a very, very thin, like, I don't know how they put it in a stick because as soon as you touch it, it melts to your touch. It is so thin and beautiful and actually kind of when you use it, it reminds me of what it looks like when I set my face with like a setting spray, which I don't do very often, honestly, because I feel like it gives me this like um, mask like finish to where my whole face looks kind of like it's been sealed with cellophane, right? Um, if you don't know what cellophane is, <laughs> it is the clear plastic wrap that is on every candy, every um, candy basket. Like think of like a basket that has like the cellophane or like when you go to bed, Bath and Beyond, no, Bath and Body Works, how they have little sets, they have cellophane, that's cellophane. So I feel like it just gives me that like kind of look all over, which I like the look in some areas, but I don't want like my chin to look like that. So that's why I love this because it gives me that kind of look, but only in specific areas that I place it. You know, it doesn't fully plastic eyes my face, make my face look like plastic. I don't know, but I really love this as well. If you want an affordable option. Now, I don't think that these are dupes for each other in any way. They have completely different everything, but I do think this is really lovely. As a highlight, we are gonna go to blush. 
I tried very hard with this year-end favorites to pare everything down to the smallest number possible. The smallest number that I would feel comfortable leaving stuff out. So, you know, I took my top five of something or, you know, anything that I loved over the year and then I was like, I need to narrow this down. I tried to do like two or three products per section. I don't know if you picked up on that, um, but I really, I didn't want to be here all day even though I'm already here all day. Like, we're already here for a very long time. But the blushes, I just couldn't narrow down any further than this, okay? So, I've got four. Not bad, right? Okay, okay, for how, go through my channel, okay, and count how many freaking blushes I tried this year. It's a lot, it's a lot. By the way, blush declutter is coming soon. I couldn't fit it into Vlogmas. You might get that in a couple days, in a week, something like that, so. Be on the lookout. I did pick up four Pat McGrath blushes and I do love the formula of all of them. If there is a color that you're into, like I recommend it, I really do. Um, but my number one favorite one has turned out to be Flirtatious. Look at how boring it looks. Does it not look boring and dusty and like death over there? But just like, I can't explain how beautiful that color is on my face. But what I love about this formula is that you can like sheer it out or build it up or whatever. And I love using this like in combination with other colors on the top part of my cheek, on the front part of my cheek. Any makeup look goes with this. It's super beautiful. I love Flirtatious. Okay, this blush has been hyped up for years and I finally tried it this year and it is totally 100% worth the hype it is the flower beauty blush balm specifically for me the color pinched is perfect but the formula of this is so beautiful the packaging is perfect a plus 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 on the packaging you can see through it so you can get out the perfect amount or like less you know you don't have to like over pour it on your hand i use it with a brush i use it with a sponge the color is a beautiful like neutral peachy color that's really at home on my skin and the formula is pigmented but just sheer enough that it just blends and melts onto the skin so deliciously. I absolutely love the Flower Beauty Blush Balm formula. Definitely a favorite for the year. I'm surprised I haven't picked up more shades honestly because I have a shopping problem but I haven't so yay me this one's a little bit newer to my collection i don't think i've used it much on camera i don't even know if it's in my youtube video at, like at all but i have used it over on instagram if you aren't following me go check me out okay follow me i do try makeup there that doesn't fit to a video you know what i mean like I could do a full face of blah 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 on YouTube, but say I have just like one mascara, I'm not gonna do a whole video for one mascara unless it's like a super overhyped mascara. So Instagram sometimes gets some of that makeup product that you don't see me use on YouTube. So if you wanna see all the makeup content, head over there. Um, but this is the Say Blush in Peachy. This is their Dewy Blush in Peachy. Now I do have this on today and I'm looking peachy and it's beautiful. The formula of this is a little bit thicker than like this one or a lot of the liquid blushes that I've tried. It's a little bit more of like a cream in a liquid form and it does have a doe foot. You can see how it's kind of like standing up on the end of that there because it does have a little bit more of like a moosiness to it but i just like dot 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 use my beauty blender blend it out it's super beautiful blends into the skin lovely it has a nice fresh like juiciness to it it is a little bit peachier i believe than what i've got on my face because i did top that off with this one i don't know where you've been all my life I love this formula and I actually was just watching oh by the way this is the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow blush in Magic Hour I actually just watched a video today um, one of Khaki's videos and she was saying how she would never only use this blush she uses these blushes as more of like a topper because they're so glowy but I'm just like is that too glowy for my whole face 
I don't know. I think it's just right. I don't know. I just don't think it's that glowy. This is the Heaven's Glow Magic Hour, and this is the Pat McGrath Flirtatious. So you can see this one's a little bit peachier. But I don't know. I really love this and have been using the heck out of this. Um, I also love the Venetian Rose color as well, but that one's a little bit deeper. This one is like I can throw onto like haphazardly. Love it. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. All right, we are down to the eyeshadows. I have two eyeshadow palettes here and three single eyeshadows. If you want to see my eyeshadow palette ranking, I'm going to link it here. I also did an eyeshadow singles duos ranking, which I will link right about here. I had to leave space. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about some of my tops from that right now. Um, but if you want to see where everything that I tried this year falls, then check out those videos. So first, let's go ahead and talk about the singles. So the very first one that came into my life that became an instant favorite that oh, I love is the Bodyography Glitter Pigment in the shade Off the Hook. This is my kind of everyday <laughs> shadow. Yes, it is a glitter pigment and it's my everyday kind of shadow it is this beautiful let's see there we go it is this beautiful like taupey brown shade it's probably about a mid-tone although like it looks brighter because you know it's reflective this all over the lids is my perfect everyday one and done kind of shadow I absolutely love it just a little bit of mascara a little bit of <laughs> Glossier stretch concealer and the Danessa Myricks contour balm and the Flower Beauty blush like boom full face right there Absolutely love this. It's so gorgeous. I heard so much about these glitter pigments for so long from um, Allie Glines from Katie Jane Hughes people were trying these all the time and their Instagram page is so freaking delicious but I could never decide on shades I ended up picking up three during a sale one time I picked up three beautiful shades that I do not regret at all they're 100% worth the money to me like they are so special in my collection and this one is just like an answer to my prayers I absolutely love this and then these two actually are brand spanking new to my collection but they literally jumped to the top of my pile when I started doing my ranking I was just like these have to be at the top like I cannot not put these at the top okay I can't so we've got the auric smoke reflect in the shade disrupt which I totally thought entice was gonna have me by the throat but it didn't well it did but not in the way that disrupt disrupt Oh my gosh, it is unreal. This beautiful cranberry color. It is so delicious. Oh my gosh. And then the topper is out of this world. And I broke it. Don't mind me. Um, but it is this, oh gosh, hot, fiery pink gold duochrome with like a green undertone. It's so beautiful and unique. I can't wait to see her releasing more duochrome toppers because her toppers thus far kind of have not been. So I'm excited to see that expansion. That makes me very, very happy. I absolutely love that. I did try the Smoke Reflex for the first time this year as well. I love them as like an ideal. If you are a one and done single shadow, kind of person you will love those the creams are so easy to use um these holiday release ones are a little bit more pigmented than like defiance and temper so they're a little bit easier to blend so just go in with a light hand but the the creams really do work really lovely kind of like a powder just pack it at the lash line and then blend it up i use brushes with these they're super beautiful and then this one which i am so shocked <laughs> ended up being like such a favorite for me and that is the rem beauty single wait liquid liquid matte shadow in totes this color is perfect the coverage it has it is finally something that covers up the veins in my eyes it's so beautiful on its own it's beautiful as a base it's beautiful with liner this is like my second everyday kind of situation it's so beautiful i've worn it like like all day like 12 hours plus with my watery eyes and it still looked beautiful at the end of the night like 
amazing product, amazing, amazing. And then the top two eyeshadow palettes, which are what I use today to create my eyeshadow look, are the Pat McGrath Holiday Release, the Mega Palette, what'd she call this one? The Celestial Odyssey. So for this look, I used a little bit of this brown shade, and then on my lid, I have this shade right here. Sunrose Amber is the matte, and Rose Venus is what's on my lid. Oh, I have talked about this palette several times over now. I'm hoping if you watch my channel, you know my feelings, but this right here to me is quite possibly the most perfect collection of colors. What? The most perfect perfect palette in my collection. It is everything I could ever want and more. It's totally gorgeous. I love the formulas. I love the shades. I love everything about it. Absolutely love. And then on the inner corner, little popsy popsy, I used this palette. <sighs> this palette is so good. Like it is not new by any means. <laughs> okay. And people rave about it for years, and I find, well, I don't know if it was years, but maybe like a year or two. And I finally did it, I finally purchased it, and I have never regretted it, not once in my life. And that is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. And I used the shade Galaxy right there on my inner corner, but this palette is another palette that is like if I were creating some of my favorite palettes, like this one has like, if I had to get rid of everything in my collection, I'm gonna keep this one. This one's gonna have all the eyeshadows I would ever need kind of thing. Well, not all the ones that I personally would ever need, but like if I had to get rid of everything, that kind of thing. But this would be a second palette for sure because I love cool tones. I love mauve colors. I love, like if you take out the, the blue section, like this is perfect everyday palette for me. And then it's got the pop of blue, but instead of it just being a pop of blue, you've got four like brighter, bluer shades in this palette that really make it like a whole look and you know, a variety instead of just a pop of blue. If you just have one pop of blue, like there's only so much I can do with that. But this gives you so many more options because you've got ranges of depth, the textures and everything like that. Beautiful, beautiful packaging, beautiful, beautiful formula. Beautiful, beautiful love. Love, love, I love you so much. I do have one more makeup adjacent item and I don't know if you were waiting for me to say this, but the KJHX Spectrum brush collab. I do not have the brushes in here because they are all filthy. But I do have this guy and look at how beautiful this is. It, it has incredible like craftsmanship to it. I don't know what the right word for that would be, but it's, oh, look at the shade, the quality of it, it's so beautiful. If you, I don't know if they're still available, but if you can get your hand, hands on the full set with this thing, I do recommend it. I don't think you will be disappointed. I think there's only two, maybe three of the eyeshadows that I don't use on a regular basis, and those are like, the thin eyeliner ones, you know, like I don't do graphic eyeliner very often. So I don't use those very often, but that's about it. I love every brush in here. Like I can pick, I don't know the numbers of them, you know, I'm not that in tune with my brushes, but I mean, I could make face upon face upon face of makeup without using anything else. I think the only thing I would be missing is like a sponge, right? Like, or a foundation brush, but otherwise like, it's it meets all the marks it's a beautiful quality i've had them now for like a few months and they haven't torn up they haven't started like i keep wanting to say peeling shedding <laughs> they're not shedding um the quality the craftsmanship everything about them is so beautiful katie did such an amazing job picking out the shapes and the shape of the brush too. It is very comfortable in the hands and the colors and everything. I absolutely love it. It's one of my splurges of the year that I just really think was worth the investment because I mean, I feel like I'm gonna have these brushes for years to come, you know? So that is all for the makeup and makeup related items. So if that's all you were here for, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like. If you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and 
you know, I hope you stick around, but if you don't, love you, see you later. Um, and if you did stick around, let's get into this other stuff, okay? So number one, I'm gonna hurry up and do a fragrance. Um, I have a perfume video on my channel that really goes through in depth the scents that I have in my collection. Um, I haven't purchased a lot of new perfumes this year. There's only been like a handful of little samples and such. Um, so I don't have a bunch of favorites this year, but I do have a new one that I got this fall that has been a favorite this fall and winter. It's a really lovely, warm, comforting scent and that is YSL La Libra. I do have the intense version so I just do like spritz spritz walk in a circle around my room. Um, look at how gorgeous this packaging is. The scent is delicious. This is not normally my kind of scent. It's a little bit more like sultry and smoky than I normally go for, but it's, I mean, that makes it perfect for this time of year. It's like the richest, sexiest vanilla that you could possibly have. Like, I think even a man could wear this, at least the intense version, but I really enjoy this. It's super yummy. I love when I put on a sweater that I already wore this and then it smells like this and it's like, I mean, <laughs> I don't re-wear sweaters. And then I'm only gonna mention skincare like just tiny little bit because I actually didn't try a lot, a variety of new skincare this year, or at least it doesn't feel like it, maybe because I've emptied everything. So make sure you're watching my empties to get like reviews on each product as I use them. But this is the only thing that really, these two things are the only things that really stood out to me as items that I wanted to make sure that I mentioned. Um, one is Good Molecules, and I want to say Good Molecules like across the board. I did end up getting the Trend Mood box of Good Molecules uh, in the beginning of this year, and I've been working my way through the products. I didn't want to throw the whole new routine on my face at one time, so I've been using like one product at a time, and I've loved every product that I have used from them. I would say the only thing that I didn't like... <sighs> love love was the moisturizing primer or the primer moisturizer whatever it's just not like enough for my dry skin but it it was good like if I had done my skincare earlier in the day and I wanted to refresh a couple hours later to do my makeup then that would be a good option for me or for you but overall I've loved the hyaluronic acid I love this this is the discoloration correcting serum the pineapple exfoliating um mineral something face wash <laughs> i've loved so many products oh my gosh the under eye like caffeine under eye thing oh my gosh that's so good like so many of their products are so good and everything's under like 15 dollars. it's very affordable and it is great quality packaging super cute packaging great quality ingredients and they do on the boxes of all their products list the ingredients if you have particular skin irritations or you know what really works for your skin go check out their website and you'll be able to find things for you like it's so I, i'm just so happy that skincare is finally getting to that point where where makeup did recently you know since like probably 2018 ish where it's like in the makeup world it used to be like high end which was like actually probably like closer to luxury right and then affordable and affordable was crappy and high end was the only way you could get anything good right a good shade range a good formula good ingredients the only way you could do that is if you went high end but the industry has changed so much because of social media because of consumers being able to speak directly to brands that the affordable section of makeup had to improve it was like we are gonna die off not because people can afford a, you know higher stuff now but because we're being called out for everything that's wrong right so there's been like this this shift in the industry and I'm glad that we are now seeing that in skincare as well where there are brands out there like Good Molecules, like Versed, like The Ordinary that are really putting affordable products in the hands of the people, right? That are really actually good quality 
and I highly recommend Good Molecules. Um, I haven't obviously tried everything and I don't have everybody's skin type, but I do think there are probably things out there that would work for your skin. You just do the little research yourself, okay? But I highly recommend them um, if you haven't checked them out. And then the next thing I'm gonna say is these little makeup erasers. Now, I do not think that makeup eraser is necessarily a million times better than the little cotton rounds that I've gotten off of Amazon in past years. I talked about them a, a few times last year. Um, but specifically these makeup erasers because of the size and they have this little strap they are just so much easier to clean your entire face get into your eye get into your other eye get the rest of your face okay get your lipstick off like there's so much real estate on this and I do use cleansers like I use a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm or whatever to get it off I do not just use water because I'm not rubbing my face that much like my face would be so irritated <laughs> if I did that. Like, I need something to move around with it. So, I definitely use makeup remover, but I think that these little makeup erasers are the perfect size and they are soft to where they don't irritate my skin as much as the reusable cotton rounds. Now, those, when I would use one, like, I'd have to, like, set it on my eye, let it kind of... The makeup remover do its thing and then start gently rubbing whereas these I can be a little bit rougher and a little bit you know more crass <laughs> I don't think that's the right word a little bit more like in the moment right just washing my face and not thinking about it and these are very 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 soft so they don't irritate my skin speaking of not irritating my skin let's do one lotion favorite and this is the Nivea breathable lotion I am NOT a lotioner guys and I've used almost half of this thing already which is amazing because I hate when you get out of the shower and you put lotion on and then you just feel like you were in a scuba suit because it's just thick and touching you like I love a thick emollient layer of found or what <laughs> a layer of moisturizer on my face I will put that on like an inch thick it's great it's excellent I was soaking that but not in like my hands and on my shins and on my thighs like I can't like it suffocates my soul I can't handle it this is amazing it's breathable I feel it soak directly into my skin immediately it's like this very thin almost reminds me of like a gel moisturizer for your face it soaks in so quickly and it almost instead of leaving like that thick um, coverage feeling that a lot of moisturizers do it gives it like you just washed your hands and they're a little bit wet still but then it dries away like you know it doesn't have that like thick casing on your body that some lotions do so the breathable one for sure highly recommend that's been a favorite over the last couple of months at least these also are considered for the last couple of months because I've only had my hair dyed like this for the last couple of months so number one is going to be the Cara color color conditioner in copper this is what I use to keep my hair red red um because I have blonde down here right these are highlights guys this is my natural hair color and these are highlights like I think you can see it's like blended down in here and then I've got highlights down here and so if I were to wash my hair a hundred times, this is gonna end up looking blonde, probably like a really brassy blonde. Um, but I probably use this like mm, once a month. I don't use it that often if I'm honest with you. Um, the best results, honestly, if you're wanting like a bigger impact is to put it on dry hair, almost like hair dye. Leave it for 20, 30 minutes, then get in the shower, do your business, rinse it out. It is going to dye everything in the vicinity. <laughs> But it does wash out i have white towels and i do not use bleach i just use regular old soap to or what is it called whatever pods i keep wanting to say dishwashing and that's wrong laundry soap to get the it it comes out it's totally fine um but it does have like a little bit of dye like color depositing to it so that it keeps my hair have that like nice copper red tint and then another thing that I picked up to help maintain the bleached hair I don't know how people bleach their hair all the time just having my hair virgin hair 
bleached the it wasn't virgin i'm lying to you um but basically virgin come on it was box brown diet but the highlight and i didn't even have it like bleach 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 blonde right it's just a little bit of a highlight my hair is so dry at the ends so i've been using the argon magic intensive hair oil this little guy i love the pump on this too because you can get the exact amount of product that you want so normally what i'll do is i'll put like a little bit of a half pump here a little bit of a half pump here and then i put it in my hands and i'll put it through my hair before i style my hair or after i style my hair whichever way and it's just really helped my hair stay feeling and looking hydrated and then i've got two clothing products and these are especially um, for people that live in cooler climates or wet climates so first of all the two pack oh, the two pack hanes sweatpants these are the men's they are so comfortable they're like soft and fuzzy on the inside but they are like kind of a thinner material so they're not like suffocatingly warm but they are cozy and i love them i did get them in like an extra large so that i was extra cozy and I love them, I can't stop wearing them. I have the blue and black pair, and that's basically almost always what I'm wearing on my bottom half recently. And then I also wanted to mention these boots. Let me just show you one. These boots right here. All right, these boots are Raid brand. And I don't know what they are called, but they are from Zara and they were only like 16 bucks. I don't know if Zara still has them, but they are amazing. They are just slip on. They're like ankle booties, but they have like a platform. So it makes me feel like tall and bad ASS. And I wear them with basically everything like leggings and a hoodie done jeans and a sweater like this done like these are my everything boot right now and i absolutely love them i love how they're getting kind of like worn into to the shape of my foot which is really like it's fake leather but that's really what leather looks like you know like it really wears to your foot so it's a really nice quality for being fake and for being 16 dollars. and they are waterproof which is amazing if you're around rain or snow it's a highly underrated thing right there all right and then the last thing i want to tell you is a couple of shows that i have absolutely loved no and i don't my battery's dying and i really don't have time to continue filming this because i don't have another so i'm gonna list my favorite shows of the year right here for you so that if you have netflix who i'll try to put what they're from so you can check them out but that is all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up it helps me out so much subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye